I'm gonna hit you so hard you won't see nothing ever, 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 ever. Audio scars all day, all day. The Merit Science is forever. Ah, hello there, folks. Hello, hello, hello. It is a joyous day. It's very joyous because not only are you blessed to see us yet again for the 215th episode of the Mad Scientist Lab podcast. As always, it is I, RJ, the pizza guy, along with Jared, the visual mad scientist. And joining I gotta us. get used to this fucking camera. Oh, everything's yeah. the opposite. Yeah, everything is the opposite. It looks actually excellent. Well, it's bright. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. You can't really adjust the settings in it, but it's bright as fuck. But go ahead. No, but it looks good. It looks good. And uh, Dan is here. What's up, man? Welcome hey, back. What's up? What's Joining up? us on another. Thanks for having me. Of course, man. You're always welcome over. Um, and happy new year to everybody. Uh, the first show of the new year. Getting the, the, the podcast vibes rolling. Started off the right way. You know, so hopefully everybody had a nice, safe new year. And what did we do? We sat around a pit of fire. Well, technically, to everyone out there, this is the second one of the year. Oh, this is true because unless you were on the live version of it, this is very true. This is very true because we did have an episode come out this past Monday. I gotta get closer over here. But the first episode official of the new year live here on Twitch. Uh I'm just in a good mood. The Steelers won, so we can talk about whatever, guys. And I think I just want to let everybody know we had to fucking. Uh, Postpone today's show because RJ is a fucking cuck for the cow, uh, not the fucking cowboys, the Steelers. Nah, that that's not cucking. That's not, <laughs> that's Let's that's put actually. it this way: I looked it up. It was two minutes left. They were up by ten, and this motherfucker's like, oh, 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 oh. and I'm like still <laughs> sitting down here by myself for fucking another thirty minutes. Dude, uh, I'm sorry. I had to hit watch the clock hit zero. I had to watch the team run onto the so field in the pouring cucky. rain. I had to watch my I had to watch my uh, my wife fuck another man. No, no, absolutely not, dude. <laughs> that's what that's what yeah, cucking that's, that's is. I know same. that I know that's what it is. That's, that's why that's not thing. what I'm doing. No, 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 no. We're not we're not doing it. Uh, I but I am. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just uh, I'm just such in a good mood. That that made me so happy. Um, but anyway, I know. Um, but anyway, anyway. Uh, Jared, oh, I know, uh, I know what you really want to talk about this week. No, well, uh, we can get to it. Relax, yeah, relax. All right, all right. Don't, I, don't give them all. The, see, this is what I'm saying. You fucking squirted your nut upstairs. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> and now you want everybody else to bust theirs. Yeah. You want to, you want to fucking, you want them to I feel. I want to go back to bed. Uh, you, no, yeah, you I'm want them to feel the post nut fucking syndrome just like you. And no. no, we're not doing that. Fine, fine, fine. I'm not fine. on your little high that you're on. Oh, I'm, well, I'm not only high, but I'm high. Fucking <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I'm high, dude. Uh, I feel good though. Feel good. Feel I great. Wait, I can't wait till the Steelers and the Packers meet in the Super Bowl and get <laughs> stomped. Uh, it's not unreasonable, but I don't think so. We're gonna find out. We're gonna. Find but out. we also, uh, epic. By the way, we did see what happened <laughs> this er- early in this. Actually, they almost lost that game. The Steelers almost lost that game. They almost, but they didn't. Yeah, I yeah, wish they yeah, would have. Yeah. I would have been so fucking happy. No, no, you just wanted to laugh at my pain. Let's put it this way: my my personal Instagram page has fucking a cheese a, me, a picture of me with the cheese head on. Uh, well, I'm 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 glad for your newfound fandom, and I and, 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 and I wish you well. I, I do, <laughs> and I wish you. I, well. <laughs> I mean, I will never go to one of those games because it's too goddamn cold. Well, but. I mean, I actually uh, I. Uh, kind of had to pass on tickets to go to today's game in the freezing, pouring rain. Um, kind of glad I didn't go just because it's freezing, pouring rain outside. But I have done it before, and it is like I described: freezing, pouring rain. Um, yeah, you, you, bro, ain't no way I'm sitting yeah, out there. You'd be in freezing. traffic right now. Yeah, I'll yeah. do. I'll do an early September game. Uh, Maybe early October. When did we, when did we go? We went we, November. We went like the second week of November. Yeah, it wasn't so, bad, but it was yeah. un uh, like unnaturally warm. It was actually very warm when yeah. we went. So that that was that. I'll do that, but I'm not doing January. Pittsburgh, yeah. that's fucking crazy. You're yeah. in the mountains. Yeah, I know, dude. It's kind of it. It is nuts. It's an experience too, man. Like Epic said, it was hot as fuck. No, it wasn't. It was it warm was enough. Fucking perfect. Uh, uh, we're gonna get to the Cat Williams shit. Relax. Uh, did we? Did you pray? Well, he lives in Green Bay. I'm sure it was a heat wave. It was, it was, yeah, no. Whenever, yeah, whenever he comes out here, it's mostly around yeah, the winter same. time. 
uh, you know what? What's forty degrees and a little chilly for us here? He just like walks around like yeah. You know, same with nude. me. I'm from the Midwest, so it's the same. Yeah. Fucking weirdo. It takes sick. a lot to get me cold. But he said he got sunburned. That's you know what? Whatever. That's not. <laughs> you didn't get sunburned because of that. It's, well, no, it is. I, I'm, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna keep my comments to myself. What about what? I'm talking about evolution. I was gonna oh, say okay, something about, about evolution. Oh but, Jesus! Hey, I mean, hey. I, I don't really have to worry about it. I mean, I, don't, I, I wouldn't want anybody <laughs> oh, to worry about it. Funny. Oh, yeah, he's ginger, too. That's right. Oh, yeah, so he's probably, you know, a little more sensitive yeah. to the sun. You could take these fucking... What, the chairs? Fucking rest. The oh. arm rest. And just... They get in the way when we're trying to... When I'm trying to oh, when you're trying to turn. Yeah, no, I mean, I know, especially where you're sitting. So, Dan, what's up, man? How's everything been? Oh, it's good, man. Great New Year. Uh, fun times. Like oh you yeah, said by the he was by with the fire. You, you were with us. Yeah, yeah. you forgot yeah. about me, man. No, I didn't, I didn't forget <laughs> about you. Like, no, but uh, pull, that, pull that a little closer to you. We uh, yeah. there you go. We were surrounded by the pit of fire, but dude, you know when we pulled up and there the there were those people in that church parking lot, dude. I swear, I, it looked like they were disposing of a body. Dude. I swear, that was it. weird. RJ is the was... fucking most weird motherfucker when no. it comes. It like you know what they're. Like, then he was like, oh, they're fucking. Italians and the fucking like they're gonna fucking bury somebody. I'm like, bro, those are Hispanic people. In the- <laughs> look, look at him laughing at people again. No, I'm not laughing at people. I'm laughing at Hispanic joke. people are pretty religious. I understand that, and they were going to mass or whatever. I don't know what church. I don't know if that was even a Catholic church. To be I don't honest. know, but it was weird that they're all outside though. It was, like, it was, it was at the end of it, or maybe it was at the beginning of it. We don't know. No, it was like that when I got there an hour before you oh. were. They're all like in the parking lot <laughs> with their with, suits on, yeah, and the trunk open. Yeah. And that's why I, that that's what really made. Maybe me. Maybe they were drinking before they went into. The, the I street. mean, that I I'm not opposed to it because they did look young. Well, that's true. So they're young people getting drunk in a parking lot on New Year's Before Eve. Before they have the to go deal with their parents inside the church. And like, oh, me home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, please don't drink. Uh, no, but um, what I was going to say, um, no, but I had a good time. Uh, it was all cool vibes. We got to chop a Christmas tree up with a hatchet. Um, you oh, didn't do, you didn't do well, anything. Well, Jared did. I missed did that you, part. Did you, did I must you, have been inside. It wasn't a hatchet. It was a. It was a just a medium sized knife. Oh, it looked like that's a not a knife. This is a knife. That type of thing. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, it looked it looked like a hatchet to me. No, no, it was just it was about yay long. It was just thick a thicker blade. Yeah, it, it was like a a wilderness a outdoor. Right, right. It was like a cleaver. I'm going to call it the cleaver. It wasn't the cleaver. It was, a, it was an outdoor blade. <laughs> this, again. It. Oh, man, dude. I'm gonna this call is what the cucks cleaver. do. They don't know anything about the outdoors. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> don't know anything about the outdoors because I'm too busy. Do you, know how to make, you know, do you know how to start a fire? I do. <laughs> this is what. How, okay, so let me ask you dude, something. Dude, we're going to video record me trying to start a fire. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what? That's not a bad idea. That would be funny. <laughs> that would be funny. Dude, we got to find true. a place to do it, obviously, because you can't just start a fire. Uh, yeah, I, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> just burning down like a whole neighborhood or something by accident, bro. Let's just go out into like a big ass field somewhere. Let's, no, you know what? We should we should ask uh, the person's place where we were at. I was about to say that too. Yeah, I'm sure he'd let you. Yeah, he's got enough space to do it. Actually, oh yeah, too. Yeah, 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 and it's close. Yep. And there was a. If we were surrounded by a fire, or we were surrounding a fire, that we were surrounded. If yeah. I were saying we were surrounded by I, fire, at, at first I was like, "Wait like a minute, we're burning alive." First, I was I was a little sketched out at first when I first got there because I was like, "Okay, there's no stones around this pit that we're lighting a fire in." <laughs> yeah. There's a tree. There's a Christmas tree that was obviously in the house prior to this, <laughs> <laughs> and. Now we're people. We got drunk people walking around this tree and this fucking fire pit. Somebody's falling in that motherfucker. Dude, I at one point thought one of the young ladies walking by. She kind of hit like the little stumble wobble, like kind of. Oh thing. no, a few people did it. Oh, dude. and then and, like, then, oh, shit. and then somebody would chop some tree, some limbs off the tree to put it in the fire and leave the stump in the middle of the way. I'm like, bro, you're trying to kill somebody tonight. And then, th- dude, those those pine needles, dude, they burn, bro. They just, oh no, I, I'm oh, not yeah. gonna lie. Especially I had a, the dry when they get dry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had a uh, yeah. That's the other thing I noticed. I will never fucking buy a real Christmas tree and put it in my house after watching that shit. 
yeah, you see the videos of it of it happening and people's house <laughs> Dude, going up in why? flames. <laughs> Bro, ain't no fucking way I'm ever buying a real I would have never again. after watched the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. You see that shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I did. But Remember the like, dogs tucked the water out so it was dry and he got close to it and it just went up in flames? Yeah, yeah, I'm, but I'm just saying, like, Seeing it firsthand, like you put one little fucking branch on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, he's not lying, dude. You, I know, I've seen it. You put one, he, like literally, like this much with like maybe eight pieces sticking out, just toss it in there, dude. That fire went up like, and it'd be know. it'd be super warm for about. That's how you know it is really bad because the heat that it put off so quickly, and the flash of it, like it could just get to anything. In a quick <laughs> dude, second, but, and you're done. But to your credit, dude, if you had the whole tree go up like that, dude, your house is that's kaput. that's what I'm yeah, like, that's no, what I'm yeah, saying. Dude. But like one piece of the tree gets lit, the whole tree is going up, just like one of those branches. That's oh, what yeah. was, like was clicking in my head. Oh yeah, that shit was. That I was like, nope, nope, never buy one of those motherfuckers. <laughs> dude, and Jared was just sitting there like, <laughs> like yeah. watching the fire. Oh man, but we had a good time. We had a good time. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad we had a good time. We we all needed that. We all needed that. Yeah. Apparently, I fell asleep on your couch when I got here, I, and it was a big deal. I was like, I just was waiting on my Uber. I what do you mean? <laughs> oh, are you talking about someone told you that? Yeah, somebody told me. On, yeah, I was there. Which, yeah, yeah. On what is it? They were like, Yeah, you fell asleep. On I it. thought you I fell asleep like, at, at his the, house. Yeah, same here. And then they were. I was like, Where did I fall asleep at? They were like, Oh, at RJ's house. I was like, I was probably waiting on my Uber. You know? Yeah, no, because I went Dude, in. Dude, I love that when you go to a party and it's like 3 in the morning and people take pictures and like, oh, you felt sorry. You yeah. passed out. It's like, yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm, 4 in the morning, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's I'm natural. I'm fucking too old and I will fucking fall asleep. Yeah. 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 No, no bullshit. And uh, so we got back, you know, uh, dropped uh, Sean off. Shout out to that guy. Um, came back to my, you know, my spot. And he was like, I'm going to get an Uber. And then our neighbor was like, hey, you got to be the first guy to walk in the door. Have you ever? That's like some sort of. Yeah, uh, I need to know. What, what is this tradition? I've never it's, heard that. Yeah, me so either, I, I until know, she it, told me. Um, it's a tradition. So uh, so my neighbor has a tradition where um, on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, you know, right after midnight, uh, a man is supposed to be the first person to walk through the door of the house with money in his pocket. It's supposed to bring. Oh. It's supposed to bring good luck and good fortune. Okay, that makes sense. Where it stems from i have no idea like uh, if you're so, really poor it's fine that day as long as you have money in your pocket <laughs> yeah i mean you just put a dollar in your pocket so, I, I think it it might be a down south thing to be honest oh she said it was a south thing. yeah that's yeah. what she said i mean uh, it makes sense now did you explain it like that it makes sense i've never done it i mean we're technically south but not like south south yeah no no i got you but i've never that was the first i've ever heard yeah, yeah. she said which my my mom's from South Carolina. I didn't ever heard that thing, but uh, they eat black eyed peas and rice. It's supposed to bring you good. Uh, luck. No, I've heard I, that I, before. Yeah, no, I have also yeah. heard that. Black eyed peas. They, yeah, they, they, that was a big thing growing up. Like uh, black eyed peas for New Year. Blah, blah, yeah, we did that too yeah, every year. I, you know, that's for, definitely a thing. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm luck. saying. But she put them together. Like I uh, do that and this. So, uh, like it's a thing. Yeah. No. So I was doing. You know. So I went over and did that. You know. Wish them. You know. Happy New Year and all that stuff. Came back over. And then, um, yeah, you were waiting for Uber, and you were chilling, and you were having a good time, dude. I mean, I was. <laughs> Don't worry, I was toasty too, man. Um, I was just like, hey. you were like, hey, yeah. He was like, I was like, is that my ride? Oh, yeah. I was like, I think. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, no. They had so much liquor there. I mean, the shots were just flowing like crazy. Yeah, it was kind of. Dude, I had like I, the I, uh, the I, Jello I, shots. Those were delicious, bro. I had like. Fifteen of those things. I think. Uh, shout out to DA. Super, <laughs> super big shout out to DA. Oh yeah, Always those Jello shots were. Yeah, delicious. By the way, she didn't show up. Like that was kind of disappointing. Well, she brought the Jello shots. Which I know, makes up for it. it is what it is. Um, and then, so okay, so after I got home, I guess I when I got home, I I'm sure I washed my dishes. That 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 <laughs> he knows the, the <laughs> yeah. bit that yeah, I've yeah, been yeah, working yeah. on about that, but um. I got home and then, for some reason, I don't know. I woke up at some point. I, I'm guessing I went to sleep, but I, I guess I woke up and then I was like, it was like a normal day for me. Yeah. And I just got up and I was like, eh, let me turn on Twitch. And I always have my I have my schedule of people because like my favorite people that I watch when they come on, I'm like, oh, I watch this person when they come on, and I got up and I just happened to be watching the same person, and I was I was like, eh, you know what, I got this. Beer here, I might as well, that, that, again, 
That's why I don't keep it in the house. Dude, I'm telling you, it's, <laughs> it, it is difficult, dude. When, dude, when you, around the holidays, when you got a free open day, you got you got your Twitch going, you got your favorite movie on or something, you got something in the... You're, you're throwing the chuck well, roast in the crock pot, well, dude. No, it's bad because then, I, I woke up. that some bitch. I woke up I, 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 <laughs> and I just got a beer and I started drinking and I'm fucking sitting in front of the computer. I was, I think I was going to try to stream or, or at least get online and I was like, oh, fuck it. So then I was like watching the streamer and I was like, you know what? It's 25 off gifted subs. Let me, let me give somebody some subs. Yeah, there you go. Because like, I guess the day before this streamer, like somebody was racking them up it was like they, they get like one person put uh 2500 subs yeah bro you hear what i said 2500 2, gifted subs damn dude mm. the second place person was 2100 gifted subs and it and i, I mean I, I, this this person is, is a female streamer uh so of course she's probably gonna get a little more. Oh, of course, yeah. But she's a regular streamer. She's been doing this for a while. This is her pro. This is her job. You weren't on OnlyFans, right? No, I was on Twitch. Right? <laughs> well, you, just, you just saw me watching Twitch, I'm just well, well, and we're literally live on <laughs> Twitch. Yeah, we're live on Twitch. And you know what's crazy that we're kind of that's kind of rolling into something I thought saw this week is that Twitch is kind of uh, bumping up some of their policies on some of the more. Risque content. Oh, uh, well, there was a couple of things that happened with that. I saw that um, it was a while. They had they did it twice already because what was her name? Morg Pie um, got suspended or banned for. Uh, and usually when they say banned, it's usually like for like a week or whatever. Yeah. But what she was doing was um, on her camera, she would have just her head and her shoulders up to like her breast. But not show anything below that. Okay. But it looks like if you're if she has no top on, it looks like she's totally naked. I got you. I got you. Um, and as long as she has like a a pool, because that was that's where the whole I looked into the rules on this shit. Yeah, it's like creating the illusion of nudity, right, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but having just all she had to do to get in to be in the hot tubs, pools, and bikinis or whatever the fuck is it is. Yeah. To get into that category, all she had to do was have like a little kiddie pool. Yeah. In the back with some water and a floaty, and that that gets her in there. But she's in the thing. She's not showing anything, but it's suggesting that yeah. she's showing something, and that's yeah. the thing that Twitter, uh, twi- Twitch, I mean, um, has cracked down on. What up, Ghost Chips? What up? What up? What up? <sighs> Hammer time. Sorry, I just wanted to throw that out there. Yep. Um, no, but I, I just uh, thought that was is kind of fell into what you were just discussing, you know, with uh, you know the streamers, and then the talking about since she's a chick, you know, uh, she. Well, might no, get a she more. she doesn't do that. Okay, well that's well good. she does probably get a little more. Uh, I don't know. I, I find that the um, the female streamers or the women streamers, whatever whatever you want to call them, I don't I don't know what they want to be called, but anyway, um, I find that their squad is more females. Now, there's other ones that I watch. Um, I talked about her before, um, Adriana Chechik. Yeah, she is an adult film star. And she'll get people to come in there who's seen her stuff and will just be outright disrespectful. And she'll fucking shut them down. Like, you, we all know what you're talking. Like, they'll say some shit. And she'll be like, we all know what you're talking about. Like, you could just be in here, be mature about it, or fucking get the fuck on and be banned. Yeah. Um, Which I, I fucking respect her for. Like I said, I, I've never seen her stuff. But I know that's what she does, and that's yeah. what she's known for. But she's also a gamer, and, and that's cool, too. She's a nice person. I've seen her on Pocket. She's been on Two Bears, One Cave. She's a nice fucking person. And I enjoy her streams, but, like, I'm not going to go in there and say some wild shit in her chat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. I even, Dude, I feel like such a tool when you type, like, some hateful shit. Like in somebody's chat, like I like fucking with people. I'll put like like fart noises or something like that. You know me because I'm childish. Yeah, but some people won't to- tolerate that. Like, no. and they shouldn't. It's their community. Yeah. If you're not part, of, you gotta kind of you gotta learn the community before you just go in there and start talking shit. You yeah. Know no, saying? I got you. Like we do, we know here everybody that that comes in here on a regular basis know they can talk shit or they can say what they want. Um, but I can't go to a, somebody else's community and think I can do the same thing. Yeah. So right. it's just, it and, is. and that person doesn't have to tolerate it either. They can ban the fuck out of you. you never, and if they're a big enough streamer, 
they can tell their friends, hey, ban this person because, or their mods, and be like, yo, ban this motherfucker because he fucking says some wild shit. Right. It, or, and sometimes twi- uh, Twitch will get involved, and if, if you say some real fucked up shit, they'll, yeah. they'll get your ass. Yeah, no, and, uh, but I don't know, just typing like hateful things on the internet is so tasteless to me, man. It really is. It's so, it's so stupid. I mean, trolling, trolling is one thing. But, like, legit, you can tell when somebody's legit upset on, like, with what they type, you know, the keyboard warrior kind of thing. Yeah, some people get real offended. Or if the streamer says something back to them about what they said, and then they get offended, and then it's like, again, you're in somebody else's space. Right, right. They can do what the fuck they want to. (laughs) You know know what I'm saying? I'm sure you've gotten this, too. You get that with customers. Like, you, they say this stuff, and... Like keyboard warriors, like crazy, and I don't know, say the meanest things. Yeah, and then you'll call them on the phone, and they'll be like, "Oh yeah," like they're the nicest person. Yeah, no, like no, they're no. big and brave and tough on the keyboard. Mm-hmm. And then when you fa- see them in face to face or um, get them on, uh, call them on the phone, they're like a totally different. Person. Oh yeah, oh, oh that, that hey, bugs the shit. You? That bugs the shit out of me. Thank you for like, calling. Be a dick, be a dick all the way around. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> And tech people in tech are probably worse because they think they know more than, than you. Cause right, they, uh, right. Like, hmm. Actually, the uh, by coefficient of the uh, megahertz of the blah, blah, shut up, you dork ass bitch. <laughs> dude, dude, we had a, we had a. I'm actually not. Uh, well, we had a customer bring their car in, and it belonged to his son, who's uh, in his early twenties, and he was doing some sort of. Uh, aviation work just something real high level shit that i would aviation mechanic probably. all right yeah just something or engineer and it, 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 i just i just remember uh checking them in and this was a while back but since you were kind of going on the they think they know everything kind of thing it just made me think of this uh there was like a bad water pump in this vehicle and uh he was like oh well we've re- it's been replaced three times under warranty and this this and that and i was like hey that's cool and then his son started speaking about it like the technicalities of it and he was just so weird <laughs> like, <laughs> like like that's an engineer but, yeah uh i oh, think yeah. so yeah no and uh i was just like wow man this kid is talking to me like i like i know what he's saying like yeah, yeah. cuz he was speaking on in in a language that i did not understand dude i'll be a, i like i legit felt like a dumbass i wish i would if you could have recorded it, I could hear what he like. I mean, he's probably talking in engineering terms, like, but like drag and all. Kinds yeah, of shit. yeah, and and I'm sure. And I was just like, I understood like the premise, I think, of what he was saying, but mm-hmm. just the way he was articulating it was just like, I was like, wow, this kid's like kind of smoking my brain right now. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? And I was like, would you like a free car wash? Like, but that's, that's not a, a that's, hold on, that's not a troll. That's just you're. Lack of knowledge. I was gonna say use yeah, a much not, harsher word, but I didn't. Your <laughs> ignorance. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. You dumb <laughs> son of a bitch. You've done it again. Embarrassing yourself here on the mad side. Drinking my water. So, <clears throat> are we gonna are we gonna talk about it? Fine, RJ. <laughs> well, it, well, since we're talking about um, trolls and and um, people saying things that shouldn't be said. Um, I'm sure everybody at this point, um, I don't know if everybody here knows what's going on as far as chat or whatever, um, but we had kind of a big deal go on this, early this year with there's um, a comedian named Cat Williams, and he did an interview with Shannon Sharp, and if you're a football fan, you know who Shannon Sharp is. He's a famous tight end from the Denver Broncos, and then he went... Then he Outspoken. Went, yeah, he's outspoken. He was on first take, with, and then he went to the other show with Skip Bayless. Yeah. Um, and they didn't get along. Whatever. There's nothing wrong with being outspoken, by the way. No. Because I kind of took offense to the way you said it. he was outspoken. I was just setting the stage oh, okay. that he's gotcha. very opinionated, which is cool. Okay. All right. I'll, skip. Fine, fine. He is opinionated, but so is Skip. <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, so yeah, Stephen yeah, A. Smith. So uh, all these, a hundred, all these talking heads, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Um, but anyway, so he has his own podcast called uh, Shay Shay Club, uh, Shay Shay's Club, or whatever it is. So Cat Williams was on there this week, and he fucking brought in the AK and fucking sprayed up the whole goddamn place. Yeah. So RJ, um, your takes on this, dude? I was like, all right. So I was like picking Wait, up first. Have you seen it? 
I haven't seen it. Oh, I heard God. about it. Okay. I think you told me about it. Did I? <laughs> or I heard someone talking about it. It wasn't me. Uh, I, I posted stuff about it. but Yeah, I, I heard about it, but I didn't see it. No. Okay, okay. So it so was, was just, it like a bit or what? We'll, no. we'll, we'll get, we're okay. going to get into it. We're gonna yeah, get into so it. there's like, so when I finally watched it, right, everybody was like, oh, have you seen this? Like people were posting things. I was like, what, what are they talking about, right? Then I wake up the next morning and I see it's more prominent. And they're like, oh, hey, Cat Williams went on, you know, Shannon Sharp's podcast. And just like destroyed, you know, the comedian medium, you know, or whatever. Mm, or in, not in, all of them. Uh, uh, he went in pretty, pretty good, man. And so I was like, all right. And then I thought of you immediately, and I was like, oh, I should probably watch this because Jared will want to do, <laughs> dude. You know, no bullshit. I was like, I was like, oh, this is great podcast material. A comedian on a comedic podcast, yeah. ranting about how terrible and how unfunny. Uh, no, no, uh, no, 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 no. You're no, no. You're. Uh, I think you're. Nah, Taking nah, nah. two, I don't know. You're going a little deeper than I, I wanted you to at nah. the beginning of this. But it, so I sent RJ the um, the link to the I was and I I put in. I always send RJ stuff that he that he should be watching for the show, right? And he never watches it. But that's right, folks. Even if, I'll send him like random TikToks and I'd be like, "Yo, we should talk about this," and he'd be like. I don't hear nothing for two days. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dickhead. So I sent him this, and I, and I was like, yo, you have H-A-V-E, capital letters, to watch this. Oh, you should have sent that to me. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, I can send it to you yeah, well, yeah, once yeah. this is over. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, so he was like, oh, yeah, I already watched it. And this, I was like, all right, fine. So we're going to talk about uh Epic, thank you for the 10 gifted. Uh, thank you. You buddy. are uh, greatly appreciated, sir. You are our hero. So, you didn't tell me your take. You just said, "Well, I, well, I wanted to let you finish your thought too." No, no, but you were talking about introductions and the, what? What was your take on the whole thing? Oh, on the whole thing, I just thought it was uh, as a. I thought it was a beautiful piece of art. That's that's what I. That's what I thought <laughs> okay, it was. Okay, RJ, well, you see, you're learning. You're yeah, learning. I thought it was a beautiful piece of art, dude. Because uh, like there were so it. many like layers to that podcast that were just like peeled back like yeah. an onion, dude. And I was just like, wow, wow. And by, I was like, wow. By the way, that uh, it's d- uh, three days in, and I checked it before we went live. Uh, that podcast has 25 million views. That's crazy. A- after dude. that? Huh? How many did it have before? What do you mean before? No, no. Oh, you mean, no, no, no. I mean that episode. Oh, that episode. Okay. That episode okay. by that itself. I got you. Yeah. Well, I bet. In three days. So that's crazy. Three days, 25 million. Marshawn Lynch was on there recently. Um, his was at 3.1 million. Wow. And hey. Marshawn Lynch is loved by everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Yeah. I mean, it's beast mode, man. Who doesn't like the guy that just, just fucking plows through people? And matter and of fact, bowling ball. matter of fact, yeah. I'm going to look up the other ones of those uh, other comedians that were spoken about real quick. And uh, while, while Jared's doing that, no, but I just thought it was, uh, put it this way, man. I've always enjoyed Cat Williams, man. Like, but I just didn't know. I just didn't know. Like that's that's kind of how I felt. I have like a new profound re- like respect for him after watching that. If that makes any sense, does that make sense? Yeah, does that sound crazy. Here's a little context. Oh, I gotta. I gotta go back and forth. Let me go to the wide angle so we can see everything. I just thought it was cool how brutally honest he was. Here's a little context for um, the other views. Not the, and and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say this. Uh, Shannon Sharp's uh, this podcast, uh, Shay, Club Shay Shay, is a pretty big co- uh, podcast. It's more of a I don't want to use that word. It's it's a black podcast because he you, he has mostly black uh, guests. He did have uh, Ric Flair on there uh, about a month ago. Oh, nice. Um, and for context, that one got uh, six, basically six hundred. 5,000 views. Yeah. I'll have to watch that one. Compa- okay. Yeah, you can watch it. That's not, oh yeah, But it ain't getting what Cat Williams just got. Well, I'll watch both, but. um, Let's see. Oh, Seds. Cedric the Entertainer, who did a, a nice little cameo for us on this show. So I kind of have a hard time talking shit, although we paid him. Yeah. I kind of have a hard time talking. And that's another thing that kind of adds to what Cat was talking about. The fact yeah. that I, I didn't see Cat Williams on cameo. Yeah. Uh, I did see Gary Owen on cameo. Um, 
most of those people I did not see on Cameo. And if they were on Cameo, they're, you're not spent. Like, Steve Harvey's not going to be on Cameo. Um, Kevin Hart's not going to be on Cameo. They, they just make way too much money to take time to be fucking doing yeah, right. 30-second to three-minute think- clips for... Everyday people, right? I don't think anybody would take it serious if we actually use people that high profile. If does that make sense? No, no, you have to kind of pick your lane. I yeah. agree with that, but that that episode was a year ago, and it got one point six million. The Steve Harvey episode eight months ago got nine point six million. So, granted, these were a while ago, but Cat blew the fucking top off the fucking. Whole shit, literally. Yeah, yeah, dude. He, I mean, I don't know really how to describe. It. You just have to watch it, man. And it was like something I just was not expecting, like really at all. I was like, okay, this is interesting. And it just goes into like the the dark side of like uh, the comedy and and all this other stuff. I don't know really how to describe it. It's it's just very detailed, and um, I very much enjoyed it. Yeah, it's some it's some pretty wild shit, dude. And then all, uh, I I thought it was great. I thought it was great, and that's really, so that is my take on it, Jared. That is my take. Oh, well, th- I thought you had more to it. In terms of, well, I, here I'll tell you this: when he was talking about Cedric the Entertainer uh, stealing his joke, right, and, and then not giving him credit for it, and then I know, like you know, with you, and starting your comedy bit, and and you know, getting your foot in the door and all that, and how like it's so you know, unsacred to, to do something like that. Oh, yeah. You, you know what I mean? In the comedy world, you can't. Uh, but the, and then the, he was talking about, you know, uh, the difference between, you know, it's not it's not about race, it's about God and all this other stuff. And well, it, that's it, different. That's yeah, no, that's his own personal thing. Yeah, no, no, but I just thought it was like a very interesting perspective on, uh, you know, the whole thing because everybody's like, oh, yeah, this guy's fucking crazy. And, you know, it just, it just reminds me a lot of you. Um, in the sense of like, uh, no, 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 I'm serious. And I mean this in a good way. I'm not like, uh, like, uh, short changing uh, anybody. You. No, but it's just like, it's like, Hey, when you're doing right and you're doing it your way, you know, these are the rules. This is your job. Right. And there are certain rules to this job. He's like, why are these people getting mad? Why are they coming at me now? They're calling me crazy. And then he gets into the whole bit of, um, uh, basically saying, ah, uh, shit that people are, Basically trying to blackball him. Um, well, he, to be honest, there have been times. I mean, there have been stuff. It's not that he cat is totally innocent and everything. That he's no, no, done. no. And, like, and I'm not saying he. And is. a lot of people will are probably taking his back now. All of a sudden, just because of how. I I would say this. I've been watching Cat Williams for a long time. I can't say that every special that I've ever seen of his is my thing. Um, but that was before I was even in the comedy world and, and, and under, and understand what it is and what it takes to be a a, a comedian. Yeah. Um, and I'm not still not anywhere near where I would like to be. Um, but I would say watching that, when I do make it to a certain level, I think that I would probably lean toward the cat way just because of how I know how no, I am. And that's what what would make me think of you because I'd rather do it my way. Yeah, you know exactly. Like, yeah. And I don't, I don't want, I don't want no handouts and you, and no, you're not fucking don't put me in no back door for no part and be like, yo, put this dress on or fucking whatever the allegations are about, what certain people have done. And there's a lot been did, that have been coming out recently with the Diddy stuff and the, yeah, that's the Will wild. Smith stuff. Yeah, that stuff's getting a little wild. So he was just calling everybody out. Yeah, and, and not all those people that I'm naming. No, 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 I know. But, but there's just, in the news recently, there's been yeah, a lot of that right. going on. And it's like, I don't, I'm, I'm going to just do it my way just because I'm going to let my work speak for itself. And that's all how I've always been. Like and I I I always thought that like when I'm at a job like I I I would think that my work is what speaks for itself, but right. I've also learned that not everybody thinks that way. A lot of people will be like, "Oh no, you they want that fucking 
quote unquote or literally sucking somebody else's dick to get somewhere. You know right. what I'm saying? And I've just never been that type of person. I don't give a fuck if you like when I was in the military, I talked about this before. I didn't oh oh my god, the fucking general's coming down. So? Right. If we're doing our fucking job, why the fuck do we gotta clean up this whole fucking place just because you're the leaders. I'm not the leader. You're the leader. Clean the fucking place up. All right. Or 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 have us clean it all the time. You yeah. know, that, it's just like shit that, for me, that is just a no-go. So, And I don't do well with authority at the same time. Like, yeah, I have to listen to cops and fuck. But fuck, a politician? Oh, the fucking governor's coming down. Fuck him. Right. He don't fucking do, he don't do nothing for me. <laughs> He's a guy, he, he probably never... He'll never know that I exist. I don't know, man. Now I'm getting fucking hyped. Yeah, no, no. But it's just shit like that. It's just, I don't get, like, we're all people. Yeah. And just because you got to a certain spot doesn't give you the right to be a fucking dickhead to somebody else. Yeah. And I don't, and this applies to on every level. Yeah. And we've, you, you kind of might know what I'm talking about. Like, recently, motherfuckers will come, oh, little. After they just got shot the fuck down or shot themselves in the foot and got knocked down, then they get back up and they want to come back and fucking say, uh, oh, I've got this position, so now I'm this, and right. you ain't shit. Right. Motherfucker, you still look like a dumbass because you still doing a dumbass <laughs> shit that got you fucking shot in the foot the first time. Yeah. Right. It's called hypocrisy. Mm. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, like let, me, let me step down off my soapbox. Yeah, but I'm even like that with like... I've met some famous people and stuff, and I just treat my regular people. They're cool. But Same here. Like I, and I think they respect that. And yeah, sometimes. Um, for the most part, I think they respect that where you're not, oh, can I have your autograph? Oh, my God. I sometimes. Like, right. And sometimes that, uh, I, in my experience, has backfired. And only twice. I've, ne- I've never had it backfire. Only happened twice. And the funny part about it, I've met, uh, like, Different types of celebrities. I've met comedians. I've met um, rappers. Uh, maybe a couple actors. Yeah, yeah. I met Morris Chestnut years ago. Um, and and Gabrielle Union and Hill Harper. I met them before. They were cool. But I've also met some other ones. That's like, and I've talked about one <laughs> before, and we did a short on it. I don't know if I want to bring it up because I don't. Well, no, fuck it. It doesn't matter. We had, we airing out the truth in 2024. Yeah. <laughs> and, again, I don't know him personally. Um, some people say he's good or, or he's a cool guy, especially probably people on his same peer level, but people that aren't on, or he probably believes that aren't his, aren't his peer, peer level, um, maybe not so much. I was working as a cell phone salesman in a mall in California uh, many years ago, and um, there was a uh, – the Ontario Improv, they built that attached to the Ontario Mills Mall yeah. a long time ago. And I was working in the morning. It was like 11 o'clock, 1130 or whatever. So people would just circulate in the morning. And we would still have to greet because we got to make money. Right. Like, I, I told you my sales shit. Right. So we got to make money. And uh, said person walks by and I say, hey, what's up? What's going on, man? Like, how you doing? I don't even think I said how you know. I was like, hey, what's going on, man? Like, trying to be just friendly and Like pleasant. you would to, like, a regular person. Yeah, to anybody else. And this, famous or not famous. Yeah, and and this person happened to be Chris Rock. And he was with it. He had a couple homies, and I was just like, and he just looked at me like I was a fucking crazy person. And I was like, uh, okay. But then he goes to the next cart where there's a bunch of girls, and they're like, oh, my God, oh, can you sign my autograph? And then fucking signs all their uh, shit. I'm like. God damn. Damn, you got railroaded by the titties. I was like, but then, same fucking, same situation, another day, Bill Bellamy's there. I don't know if you know who Bill Bellamy is. I don't know if some of y'all may know who, Some most of y'all probably know who Bill Bellamy is. But same thing. I said basically the exact same thing. I said, hey, what's going on, man? He was like, oh. I was like, we got to get you a phone. He was like, no, oh, man, you know I already got a phone. You know oh, so it's cool. Yeah, yeah, he was cool about it. But. I didn't even say the phone thing to Chris. He just fucking dismissed me like I like it was like and I again I maybe I I was expecting too much um 
But I was trying to be cool. I wasn't trying to be right. Like, oh my god, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, right, it's just kind of. And maybe he wanted you to be like that. Oh, well, maybe. But maybe. I, again, this goes back to what I was saying. I'm not going to be that. I'm, or maybe it was all about the titties, like you said. Yeah, that's 100. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I but mean, I get it. But <laughs> like I said on that fucking one show, that's why you got a divorce. Yeah, dude. Like I just. Uh, yeah, it it doesn't. I've never. The only famous person I've seen, I've never actually met anybody famous. Really? Um, yeah, I've met a lot of famous people. I've met yeah. quite a few people. Yeah. yeah, who have you met, dude? Uh, just because uh, I've already told this tried and true story. Uh, I told you. I think I told you before. Um, yeah. I hung out, not just met. I hung out for a whole weekend with Jeff Jarrett. No, you've never. Oh, wait. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Like for a whole weekend. Like dude. hung out. He knew my name. We're hanging out. Drink That's a fucking beer. sick, dude. Yeah. Did he call you slap nuts? Oh, damn it. <laughs> he, he, don't call he, he called me Dan. No, okay, okay, all right, dude. No. That's just what he called you when you were there. No, no, no. He <laughs> was like, hey, I'm going to slap your nuts, slap no, nuts. No, no, slap nuts. But we were out, we are drinking till like early in the morning, two, three in the morning every day. We are at this this event, and it was, it was pretty cool. Oh, that's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, the, 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 the closest celebrity encounter I've had that wasn't at, like, a, like a concert or a venue. You know why, though? Because you don't go anywhere, but go ahead. No, Dude, you act like if I go somewhere, there's just going to be a random celebrity just hanging out. That's how it works. Okay, well, you know, there might be some. Again, that's that's how how there's another celebrity I met, and that's how it works. <laughs> that's how it works. Anyway. Uh, Plexigo Burris was at fucking uh, oh, yeah, Georgetown no, Waterfront. No, oh, yeah, so he was, uh, like, several seats away from us, but it's Plexigo Burris. I mean, come on now. Uh, what I was going to say is, uh, um, no, is when I saw DMX down in Florida, dude, when he was just, uh, down there hanging out with his daughter, had his bodyguard and one of my friends noticed him, uh, from like afar, we were like maybe 20 yards away, you know, and my buddy's like, Oh my God, it's DMX. And like, he turned around and saw us and we were like, Oh shit. You know? And then like people started flocking around him cause nobody noticed him until my friend said something. That's right? the worst. When you have that one friend is like, Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, so no, and no. So. He, he was literally he was like, like, bro, chill the fuck. Yeah. Out. No, he literally legit, like legit, like was like happy as fuck. And, but I guess nobody noticed it was him, at least uh, in the vicinity I was in. And he turns around, kind of looks our way. And then slowly, but surely people like kind of start running up to him. And so I can definitively say that my friend... He was friend pissed had, because your friend... Yeah, so we annoyed DMX, <laughs> yeah. you know, and that's I'm sorry. Funny. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, but it's okay. a cool story. No, no, but that's uh, that's really my only celebrity. And then, yeah, Palaxico Burst, just yeah, sitting it, there with a bunch of women. And at the same place I met in St. Clown Posse, uh, mm. and... I would uh, feel like I've seen them in... I would, not in concert, but I feel like they opened for somebody. So what it was is we went to... I don't know if you ever heard of it in St. Clown Pass, like the Gathering. The Gathering. So isn't that like their thing, thing they do every the, year? Or the juggalos used to, or, and everything go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was some of the craziest shit I've ever done in my whole life. <laughs> like, that sounds like some <laughs> Iowa shit. No, so yeah, yeah, no shit. So it was Ohio shit actually, oh. but oh, it's basically the same thing in my book. So my nephew cra- set it up where so they had midnight fights. So we had MMA fights at midnight. Mm. So. That's why we were there, and they paid for our hotel. We had VIP, so I met all the all the wrestlers that were there. All the it was TNA at the time. Oh shit! And so that's why Jeff Jarrett was there. So all the TNA guys were in the tent, all talking, hanging out the whole weekend in St. Clown Posse, um, because they had wrestling during the day. Yeah, and they had a wrestling show every day, and then at night they had the fight. So we stayed in the same hotel as Jeff Jarrett, and then Jeff Jarrett, and then. Um, like I said, we had VIP, so we drank for free oh, in the man, VIP dude. tent all the time. So we hung out with yeah, all here those guys. rapping. We had VIP, dude. so we drank for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah dude. and then uh, there's Bars. there's rappers that are around uh, in St. Clown Posse that I don't even know. Like my nephew and other people knew them. They're like, oh, that's so and so. Yeah, that is. Uh, <laughs> that's they, they were the kind craziest of, they shit were, I've ever done in my life. They were pretty <laughs> dude. Big. So we roll up, man. So. <laughs> I didn't even really know who Insane Clown Posse was at the time. My nephew's like, hey, you want to go drink for free? We just got to fight at midnight, and we get the hotel, whatever. I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. And and we get we got paid. Uh, we got to eat for free, everything. We didn't get paid a lot, but we, oh, basically yeah. our food. That sounds like one of those uh, very low-paying <laughs> MMA fights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it like was, one of those, the, the, fields, the fucking cage is in a field somewhere. No, they had a ring, and they had a cage right in the middle. It was good, but it was uh, – but anyways, we roll up, and and so their whole insane clown posse, they are like, is 
all made up and you know how it is with makeup and yeah, all yeah. goth and all this stuff. But as crazy as they are, they are all like all about peace and love and all this, even though they rap about other stuff, but all together, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? But all no, together, I, I, I like, know. but anyway, so the whole, my whole point of my story is, so someone did something to somebody like disrespectful and we roll up and everybody's surrounding this guy and they're like all chanting and we pull up in the van and I'm like, we're going to die, dude. We're going to fucking die. Dude, what the fuck is up with you? And then, dude, that's crazy. These are some awesome stories you tell. I remember you were telling us that story about that boat that you went on, dude. That Yeah, man. I got oh, a lot of crazy right. stories. So then, so, so it ended up being awesome and we were in the VIP tent and everybody thought we were like, you know, we had the staff shirts. Every, all the women treated us great and it was, it was awesome. But at first. It was that backstage shit. Dude. It was backstage shit. It was cool. Mm-hmm. I got to see how the other half lived. It was pretty cool. But. When I first rolled up, I was pretty sure, I, again, I didn't think it was going to die like it did on the boat. That was different. That, we're going <laughs> to die. That story was hilarious, <laughs> but, bro. But we rolled, but we rolled up. And go, I back was to, like, go back to that past episode if you want to see that. that oh, uh, man. That's so we're not going to rehash that, that one. Dude, dude, that's so RJ hilarious. wants to rehash the old shit. But no, it's no, so no, hard, it, it, hilarious because it's real shit. I thought it, really thought I was going to die. But we roll up, and I'm like, <laughs> I said to my nephew, I'm like, what the hell did you get me into, dude? And he's like, oh, no, it'll be okay. He's like, bro, this is the life. <laughs> this is what we do. But anyways, he got off track. But, yeah, I, I met a bunch of famous people then. But, it was, yeah, we just hung out. I didn't – I acted like they're just a regular dude. Oh, that's pretty sweet, though. Did I ever tell the story about um, sneaking into the, the Met the Man and Red Man concert? I think I remember Maybe you telling me a long me, time ago. Yeah, I probably. think I remember you telling me, like, meeting them in the parking lot, like, afterwards. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. But I don't think you've ever told me about how you got in. Uh, well, um, we were trying. Okay, so we tried to go on the front and buy tickets, but the t- the sh- they were saying uh, the people at the front were like the show's almost over. We could see them on the stage because it was like an outdoor park. Uh, yeah, I think it was somewhere in Orange County, um, California, and um, we could see them still on stage. Like I don't know, probably football in a half field away. Yeah, and um. The dude was like, no, the, the tickets are sold out. There's no more tickets. And it's all, basically the show was over. And we didn't realize it. So I was like, yo. Like, uh, actually, no, this wasn't Orange County. This is San Bernardino. So we was like, I was like, yo, let's go around back and see what's up. So we ended up driving our cars around and fucking parking at like a jack-in-a-box. Uh, and parking in their parking lot. And went over and I was like, yo, there's fucking fences right here. So we just climbed over the fences Ended up in the parking lot, and as soon as we got into the fucking parking lot by the van that was there, we were looking like the stage was kind of right here-ish, and the the van that was sitting there was right there. Just so happens that the van that was right next to us was the van that they were leaving in. So it was Red Man and Method Man. So Method Man comes out first, and they're trying to get in the van, but nobody has the keys Red man comes over, so then all these fucking people start coming, and like I'm right in right in the front, and I'm just like, yo, let me just get an autograph real quick. Yeah. I had like everybody was crying around Method Man, um, and then met at one point Method Man was like, um, everybody, yo, everybody, take two steps back and look for some keys on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause they were crying. Him I don't know if yeah, that right. was. He just knows how to handle these motherfuckers. Yeah. So everybody like, yeah. step back, and so th- then he started doing autographs, and everybody was crying around meth. So then I was like, ah, fuck. Well, ain't that many people around Red Man? So let me go over here, and and I kind of got cl- like Red Man sitting on the bumper of the van, and I got no paper in my hand, but he has a pen. Yeah. The only thing I have in my pocket is a twenty dollar bill. And I was like, uh, hey, man, like, can you sign this? And as soon as I handed him mine, he was like, hey, man, y'all better stop handing me money because I would keep this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. And uh, I ended up spending that $20 bill. So, Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> so somebody out there has a $20 bill with Red Man's fucking autograph. And it was in red ink, too, by the, the way. Oh, my God. If you are the lone <laughs> sole person who has this $20 bill with Red Man's famous insignia on it, please. Jared will give you forty for it. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you forty bucks for <laughs> it. Yeah, I'll give you forty bucks. I'll give yeah, I'll give you forty dollars for that. The address to the mad scientist. That's lab just probably is, gone uh, somewhere. One that two was, three fake street. That was so long ago. 
Uh, Dude, but that's dope, though, that there's a $20 bill out there circulating. You ever wonder where it goes? Do, do, I mean, after a while, it gets decirculated and burned up or whatever. Oh, my God. Um, We're burning. Especially that one because it was defaced. But anyway. Um, yeah. No man, I've met a lot of fucking celebrities. Wow. I accidentally, another Wu-Tang member, accidentally uh, walked past. Not accidentally, but we were, we were in Georgetown one night. We used to go to Georgetown every weekend. And we just happened to be walking down, I think it was M Street, whatever that main street is. This is back in the day when Wu Tang was popping. And we're just me and Tony who's been on the show and one of my other buddies and I think David was was with us. And we're just walking down the street and coming on this side the same sidewalk that we're on, uh a bunch of people and one of them was Capadonna. Yeah. Capadonna's just rapping. He's like fucking spitting bars. That they're just practicing their their fucking craft while they're walking in Georgetown. And I'm like looking. I'm like, yo, that's fucking Capadonna. I'm fucking Tony and his fucking mellow tone. Oh, they're just people like the rest of them. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, bro. Exactly. But like, that's still fucking Capadonna, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spit some hot shit. Yeah, no. Uh, who uh, else famous? Sorry, Matt. I'm Matt. I'm gonna date myself. You guys are gonna know. I no idea who this well, is. I just dated uh, myself with Capadonna. Nobody knows that Capadonna was uh, even yeah. Wu Tang. Well, yeah, but this is even pr- farther back than that. Uh, so there's a Cub picture back in the like 1970s, 1980s. Oh yeah, you're dating yourself. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I was a little kid, but I grew up in the Illinois type area, and uh, uh, we played craps with Fergie, Fergie Jenkins. I don't, I'm sure you don't know who that is, but he's he is <laughs> Fergie like a, Jenkins. If you look him up, he's a borderline Hall of Famer. Oh, did um, we we talked about him at trivia at one point? Did we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was he an answer to the question. Or oh, it was a, it was on TV or something. He had just died or recently or yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, something like I don't remember why, but uh, I played craps with Fergie Jenkins at uh at the local casino where I live uh cuz he knew like an owner of a bar and he was there for a promotion or something but we were just hanging out with him all night just th- rolling dice like having a good so, time so so you said he's a borderline hall of famer uh-huh. for what for baseball uh, for baseball okay <laughs> oh I, yeah he did I think. said the cubs he, i think oh did yeah. no I, uh, did he yeah, I, I must have not yeah. heard you. I'm so sorry, man. I didn't mean to yeah, say yeah, yeah, you're yeah. worried about your fucking recent cuck section. No, nah, I'm not worried about my cuck <laughs> section. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. <laughs> Folks, it, but you know what is the thing? Do you know what? Do you know what's kind of uh, happening? I think a little backwards a little bit. What? Um, some of the, the craze uh, around the holidays. I think it's happening backwards. Because people are going nuts over this uh, this pink Stanley Cup. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm glad you brought that up, RJ, um, because... Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say... I'm about to get on my soapbox again. Yeah, no, no. I, I, I actually brought it up because I, I didn't want to irritate you, but I was like, dude, like... <laughs> I was like... Yes, you did. Someone said that's No, but, but it's crazy. No, no, hear me out. Hear me out. So my, my cousins got my mom and sister one, or not just my mom one for Christmas, a blue one. Hers is blue. And I was like, oh, what's that? She was like, oh, it's a Stanley Cup. It's... You know, Stanley brand, and it's a mug. First of all, the only Stanley Cup I know and care about is the fucking NHL one. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, so. When I, your mom uh, said that today, I was like, what the? F-? You <laughs> called it a Stanley Cup, and it, it was a big cup. And I was like, it, it's, 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 it's got Stanley on it. It is a Stanley I, I, Cup. Yeah, no, I get uh, but it. I, I was remember, confused I, as shit. I remember I, I had you. Stanley Thermos and all that stuff. Who uh, the fuck is Stanley, by the way? I guess the guy who invented the, the Thermos. I, only thing I, only, okay, so there's two Stanleys I, I know and really care about. The NHL one. And the tools. All right. Who is this new motherfucker? No, I think it's the tools. Is it? I th- it might, yeah, it's thir- they used to make thermoses and things of that My nature. other question is, is it better than a Yeti? No. Why the fuck are we even talking about it? Exactly. I Nothing's no better than a Yeti. No. I hate those cheap fuckers that so, say they're... It was just crazy. So I was like, oh, where'd you get that? I thought nothing of this. I had no idea this was a craze. It, this kind of transpired like the Popeye's chicken sandwich thing for me. That was nuts, by the way. Yeah. So- RJ, you hit the nail on the coffin. Uh, uh, yeah, that nail on the head. And uh, Epic, uh, I'm disappointed in you. Did he buy one? No, he said he waited in line for four hours with his for his buddy's daughter. Oh, my God. For what? A, a, a Stanley Cup. 
a Bro, Stanley Cup. Geez. Dude, this thing has taken on a life of its own. So yeah. like, so I can't. Like, same shit. I'm coming downstairs, getting so ready crazy. for work. It's almost like a mirror image of what a, the occurred. chicken sandwich. Is. Yeah, that chicken sandwich and, thing. And my was mom's so got the news crazy. on, and I'm seeing like, oh, the Stanley Cup, and it's selling out everywhere. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I saw a video. Uh, it was, I think it was Walmart or something, and they were like, yeah, okay, you can go now. And then motherfuckers like, <laughs> look like little fucking rats fucking taking food off of a fucking, like, oh, yeah. dude, they're selling eat. this cup for $300 well, on again, like, eBay. I'm going to date myself again, but when I was young, I remember, and, and no, I wasn't in line for them, but Cabbage Patch Kid. Well, we oh, talked about that. We, yeah, around Black Friday, we actually talked about yeah, yeah. that. Oh, yeah, dude, it was nuts. Like people, had, you had to get a raffle, get in a raffle yeah. just to buy he, it, and there's like really hundreds of people. It. Oh yeah, I didn't do that shit. Um, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I was, I, was like, I waited until because my mom wouldn't buy shit. She, this is a crazy part. My mom act like she didn't have money, but she had money. Right. She had enough money where she could have bought me a cabbage patch kit if I wanted. <laughs> you want a cabbage patch kit? I didn't want. No, one. I didn't want one, but like. When you, all your friends are talking about it at school or wherever, um, daycare. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, at least let me get some cards. But then, well, then it came to the like she didn't she didn't like gruesomeness and violence, so that, that was a whole thing. That goes. Here's one thing: any parents out there, don't deny your kids the uh, guns when they're young because they're gonna love them even more when they get older. <laughs> Just gonna say that. Um, so, but yeah, so. I didn't get a chance to, to do any of the crazy shit. Well, I did where my, my – because my mom was trying to get it for my cousins and stuff, and she just yeah. always liked to shop. And we, I remember we stayed, at, like, in line at Kmart for, like, hours and hours getting the raffle. And, like, my brother and I were like, dude, really? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, we don't care about this shit. But she was just trying to get one because they were so popular. I don't think they yeah. ever got one. But, but uh, even back then, if you got one, could you sell it? Like you could today, no. Like you wouldn't make the money that you would make today. No, back no, then, no, like no. what? What could you do? Put an ad out in the fucking yellow pages? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. That shit would take so no, long. It and wasn't it even about that, making money. It was the people wanted the them. popularity. Yeah, yeah. Got you. Now it was about the popularity and the money. And there was some other. Uh, again, there's some other toy that was he used on Home Alone that was really popular that went people went crazy. Oh, like, the, the, walk, um, the, the walkie-talkie. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. Uh, no, no, the voice changer thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I forgot the name of that it. That was another we one. We can look it up real quick. Because I actually worked at Kmart when I was like 16, 17, and yeah, it was around that time. And yeah, it, dude. That was, was crazy. I can only imagine. What, uh, well, can you imagine with the internet, how those oh, things would have blew up now like they did oh then? Oh, my God, dude. People, But the thing is, so... So people were going crazy for this this Stanley Cup, especially this pink variation of it. Um, and there's, yeah, somebody like Epic is waiting four hours in line. A friend of ours said that one of his coworkers came to work, a woman w who was bruised up because she got into a oh, scuffle with somebody working. over one of them. Like people were fighting over a fucking cup, dude. What has no, society? No, how did this get I don't started? know. I, I just don't get oh, it, dude. Me, I got to reconnect this. I don't know why it's not working. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. No, well, I was thinking. Let me. I was, I'm thinking. Let me think. <laughs> so you don't know where it came from? No, I don't. I really don't know there's where it came from. It's got to be a story. Um, there's, if I remember correctly, from the kind of context I've taken out of it, is Stanley has always been like a manly kind kind of cup yeah. The tools brand. it yeah, comes yeah. from the tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah I said that. So now no, no, but, I, I I know. I'm just because I have a lunch. I have a I have he, like he didn't. Hear I have you. a lunch box that kind of looks like a toolbox at Stanley. So I figured that's what it was. And um, so this is a toy. If anybody didn't know, I'm just curious talking. why Talk Boy. That's what Talk it's Boy. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I'm it's glad you guys. 140 knew what I was bucks. About. Oh well, obviously it's old, so it's probably. Well, like, that was the most famous thing out of that movie, right? Dude, um, those things. Dude, we should get one, man. No, Talk shut it, up. Just, no, we should. No, just to have it, dude. Wouldn't it be cool? There's to have much that? better things you can do now, and much faster than a fucking Talk Boy. That's a no, cassette I, tape. You can't even get. Well, actually, cassette tape, just like vinyl, is coming back. So, I'm well, sure you could get that. Well, I just, I meant for like just the novelty of it. That's I don't all. want that shit. No, I don't want that shit either. Yeah, like, I, see, here's. I didn't want a Talk Boy when they were popular. Yeah, I didn't now. want it then. <laughs> no, neither all did I, I wanted was a fucking Walkman. Like, oh, give yeah. me a Walkman so I can play whatever music I want whenever I want. And it, all right, now soapbox. Um, I hate the fact that I can't go out and buy 
the music that I want. And I just have it at my fingertips because I forget to listen to music now. Yeah. I used to, I love music. You know, putting for, a CD in and yeah, yeah, and I would listen to it for hours. Me or, too. Or Me even too. back in the day, a, a, a record. I had my own record player and I had fucking my own little, um, not the thirty five. What is it? No, what's the big one? The big one is the twelve. What's the small ones? The small record. Anyway, vinyl. I would have my own yeah, single of Thriller back in the day. Yeah, that I would play on my little fucking Cookie Monster record player, and I'd be like, it sounds Thriller. badass. <laughs> Bro, I'll tell you, I'm old as fuck. Yeah. I had some crazy shit that motherfuckers would be like, yo, what the fuck? Me Dude, too, can you look man. up for the Cookie Monster record player? Yeah. I, I would like to see this because I'm envisioning it in my head, and I think if it looks like how I think it is. Give me a second. All right, all right. Uh, no, but you're right. Music in terms of, like, yeah, you forget to listen to it because you're like, oh, everything's out on the internet now, and the internet is a massive cesspool. Um, you can't just go to the... You know the record store in Newmire and pick up your CDs, and I don't know why I'm talking like but this. But one thing that's cool <laughs> that I never, I didn't think I wanted, but someone got it for me for a gift is an Echo Dot, though, because it kind of gets you back to listen to music. Because you can say, "I want to listen to whatever." Yeah, I have one, and yeah. it plays whatever you want. But I don't use it as much. I, I use my um, my other thing more. Give me a second. It's still not fucking coming. Your other thing. No, man, I used to love going to buy CDs, man. When a CD would come out, oh, you're yeah. right, you, you yeah, just yeah. pop it in, listen to it for, like, uh, days or weeks, especially if it was, like, a hot album, and then you would see all the music videos come out for it at not too long after release. Yeah, it was a whole vibe, man. Music is not what it used to be, and that kind of stinks because I like music a lot, man. Oh, shit. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh that's oh, cool. Oh, shit, dude. All right, hold on. I got to switch so everybody else can see it. This is what I thought. Is it about what no, you thought? No, honestly, no, but I like what I'm seeing. It's not as cool as you thought it was. I just thought, like, the, 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 no, the it's needle. The, it's the, needle the very piece. first one right there. Yeah, I thought the needle piece would be, like, the cookie. Yeah, remember, this like, is hey. a kid's toy, and I used to listen to Michael Jackson Thriller on this shit. Oh, my. That's pretty cool. And the crazy part is, uh, it was 1977, but I wasn't. Damn, that shit! I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was that old. That that player that I had was older than me, so I don't know who owned it. But it wasn't. I was born in seventy nine. How old were you when you remember playing with it? I, I mean, I was obviously I was, <laughs> no I was, homo. I was a, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, I said I playing not, with uh, it. Uh, That's uh, funny, uh, yeah. Um, I was a kid. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I was a kid. Um. I mean, bro, I was young. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, so when, when, early when, 80s. When did, when did Thriller come out? I think like 83? Probably around there. So yeah, I, yeah, and yeah, I had yeah. the, I I had the single, right. the close. little whatever, the not the full album. I yeah. had the single. I, I want to remember what size that is. I can't remember. It's, not, well, it's, it's big enough to fit on that. No, but it was oh, like. Yeah, exactly. Actual, but well, you could fit a full size one on there, but I only had the smaller ones. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't even realize it was older than me. Um. And yeah, Jared's, and, and, and it's like fuck. no, no, and 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 look, you see the little latch in the front. It was a latch, and I would carry it around the house, and everything. Yeah, like, yeah. like, and I would just fucking carry my shit. Okay. Yeah, carrying your music, carrying your jam. Damn, I'm fucking old, son. How much does that thing go for right now? I don't fucking want to know. We we, we got to get you. I one. wish I never fucking. Well, left. yeah, just like all your vinyl records and all bunch of shit. You I got want rid of. and vinyl's expensive as fuck now. I know a bunch of stuff we you can I buy got em. rid of. That would be worth. Well, a lot my of money. mom has a lot. We got rid of all my stuff. She get she got mad when I was still there. She got mad because I would be. Li- I, I bought a, a, a record player. I, um, because I was I, I got I started during the pandemic. I didn't have any. I was living with my mom and like weren't going anywhere and I didn't have shit to do. So I bought uh, a record player because I wanted to sample some music and I wanted to um make beats. So I got a cheap ass. Beat maker it was like three hundred bucks, and then I got a cheap ass technique. It's not a DJ one, which uh, I'm not gonna lie. I, not to upset any DJs out there, but uh, if you ain't doing records on turntables, you ain't fucking DJing, homie. You just playing fucking CDs <laughs> or fucking MP3. Yeah, and you, you know what? Turn around. Let me finish. Yeah, hold on. I uh... um that ain't that ain't the art of what the actual shit is. But anyway, I digress. So um, I bought this shit just to fucking get samples off. Because my mom's got stuff from like the early 70s to the late 70s. 
And I don't know if I, I think, no, I, t- I think I told you because um, I had, she had a, there's two albums that stick, stuck out into my mind when I was a teenager. It was Whitney Houston's first album. I forgot the name of the album. And it was Tina Turner's album where you flipped it over and it was just her legs. Oh, yeah, we oh, talked yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we did talk about that. We talked, about, we talked about the <laughs> Tina Turner. Yeah, yeah. And bro. Well, <laughs> all right. Here's what I'm going to do right now for all you people out there. Of age. OG Butt Stuff. What up, brother? OG Butt Haven't Stuff. seen you in a while. Welcome back. Welcome um, back, Butt Stuff. I'm going to pull up the first. I'm going to pull up the Whitney Houston first album. I think it was just called Whitney Houston. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, you guys keep going. Yeah. And let me look this up real quick. So, <clears throat> I've prepared a little piece. Stay for, on the subject, bro. Fuck the fuck. For all of us here this oh, afternoon on the Mad Scientist Lab. He's going to do one of his ads. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's <laughs> like, I, I was just messing with you. I was just messing with you. So, you got the Whitney Houston album cover. All right. And then the Tina Turner, are these legs spread? Are, are they spread legs? Because I've never seen this album cover. <laughs> you, we'll get to it. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to show you. I, I, well, show see, you. see like, the reason I'm quiet is because I'm highly anticipating I think you this. showed, I think we, I looked it up on my phone when you told me. I, I know. I know. But I'm going to show the, the people. The, the people. Gonna show the people. Okay, oh, so. I need the back of it, though. No, okay. Hold on. Let me see. Still a dope album cover, though. Whitney, I didn't look up, but we looked up. Uh, no, we didn't. But I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get it. I got you. Uh, yeah, Ooh. here it is. Ooh. So this was one. All right. All right I'll well, get to the other one. What is it called? Uh, I, I guess Whitney Houston. Okay, yeah. Cool. I was right. Does it, I think if I read it, right, it says like roll cover or something like that. So the, the the image on the left. So that was one. This was during my fucking adolescent ages, ladies and gentlemen. Art, art is sexy. I go hard in the paint. <laughs> yeah, we all do. Yeah. Hard in the paint. Uh, I went hard on this album cover. A hundred percent. A couple times. In fact, <laughs> yeah. in fact there you um, go. <laughs> uh, and then hold on, give me a second. Let me uh, switch back to. Let me get the uh, Tina Turner one. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm anticipating. Oh man, raging boner. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so my point is to say this. Uh, at the at the age that I was out, uh, and then my mom had these albums, and 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 she also had Richard Pryor albums. She, uh, I looked those up. I don't really want to say the, the names of those albums uh, at this particular moment. Are they derogatory? No. Well, they, <laughs> they would be considered derogatory. Oh, there's the oh, yeah. There's oh, the oh, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so. This is so Jared. I love it, dude. So this is uh, <laughs> Tina Turner's legs. <laughs> when I'm a fucking adolescent motherfucker. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Like what do you <laughs> fuck you think you're looking no, at? No, 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 no. It's just funny. It's because dude. Like, and then I wonder why I'm a leg guy. Yeah, no, and kids. Are, yeah, no, it's <laughs> bullshit. Like we're like finding out the like the the deep rooted mindset of Jared's <laughs> fetish. You know, uh, it's all like coming together. This is like a psychological episode. Oh, hundred percent. It's like therapy. I told you. I told you it's like therapy. Um, but yeah, super badass album cover, bro. All right, OG. Uh, sh- bl- uh, Black didn't crack; it just drowned. No oh, man, dude. <laughs> talking about Whitney. Oh Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> oh, my God! Wow, that's man. funny, dude. That's, that's a good. That's funny. I mean, <laughs> so did fucking Matthew Perry, dude. Man. Jesus, yeah. No, what was that? The what the, when you said the hot tub thing, and you were like, "Yeah, I was thinking about." <laughs> I'd dude. rather smash a chick with no legs. That's crazy. Dude, it's, wow. like a, you're, it's like you're beating a stump, dude. Mm. Wow. <laughs> it's like humping a stump. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dude, that dude, that should be the name of the podcast, Humping a Stump. Uh, <laughs> Let's think about that one. A little. Uh, yeah, I know, it's I, a little childish. I think that might be a different podcast. No, well, 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 no, 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 it's not a different podcast. <laughs> and, and it would be on OnlyFans, no, not here. Dude, yeah, no. back oh, to OnlyFans. God, I just, I'm so tired of it. Everybody just promotes that shit. Like, you can't oh, care. look at my butthole. Stop like, re- hey, you better stop fucking talking shit about OnlyFans because eventually... We're going to be on there as OnlyFans TV, though. We're not going to be on OnlyFans fucking with my dick out. I don't, I, I don't want I don't want to ever be on <laughs> OnlyFans. OnlyFans with my dick out. <laughs> OnlyFans Is with that my the dick. professional <laughs> Yes. 100%. Damn it. You knew I was going for it, too, didn't you? Oh, no. You can go back. Oh, wait. There we go. I just Sorry, hate when man. you bang it. I Well, that's the whole purpose of doing it. No, it's it. not. It is. It is. It is. You don't have to bang it. I, uh, 
Do you, you guys want me to leave the room? I can. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. RJ just needs to leave the room. He needs to fucking finish his session. Uh, it's the session <laughs> is done with. Uh, I'll know tomorrow though. I'll know tomorrow. Uh, well, um, update. <laughs> Epic gave us an update. Um, yeah, the Colts aren't helping you guys. Yeah, they. That's okay. They they don't. They have to tie in order for us to get in. It's fine. As long as you have to tie for you to get in, dude. So I have three I, ways of no, getting. You need in. the Colts to win, though. I do. Hold on. So that I, means I they're need, losing. I either need either tomorrow. I need the Bills to lose, Jacksonville to Wait, lose. Wait, tomorrow or today? Because the Colts are playing right now. I know that. Or but the Col- tomorrow if, too. If the Colts and Texans game ends in a tie, I make the playoffs. So what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Those are the three scenarios yeah, yeah. that what help happen- us Hold on. get us into the playoffs. Hold the fuck on. So what happens if the Colts lose? Then they're out of the playoffs. Well, they're Ooh. not out. Who? The Colts. I, I don't give a fuck about the Colts. <laughs> if they lose, it, it doesn't affect us. And from from everything that has transpired today, that does not affect okay. us. Okay. But if the Colts won, you would be in. Not necessarily. Uh, but it would be a big step. That's what yeah, I call my to, Yeah, no, 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 no. Winning to Okay, and no one gives a fuck about I, fucking stupid fucking football. But I it's, do. It's 7-3, to three, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, oh, geez. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Students. We're on Twitch talking about fucking football. That's crazy to me. Talk yeah. about video fucking games. crazy talk. Video games and all You don't got to talk about video games. I, I know you've been playing that dumbass game this week, though. Well, I'm almost done with what I need to do. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited with finishing that up. Anybody, what y'all playing in the chat, man? Somebody let me know. I yeah, need, what do you I guys need play? some better games. This guy's playing fucking Call of Duty Warfold. <laughs> Dude, I played a game of Warzone last night. I got third place, but I was pretty proud of myself. I'm just saying, just just because I've been playing a shitload of zombies, that's why. That shit. I don't know, it's uh, it's it's gonna run its course soon. Don't worry. But and I'm working on my or, uh, Roy, or my Borealis camo. So I'm very excited about that. What are you fucking in space? You're on the well, fucking, it's a space the, camo. You're in the atmosphere, motherfucker. I'll uh, I'll show it to you later if I stream. Well, does, when I does stream. it have fucking green streams of light? Yeah, yeah, dude. It's a, like a re, it's a reactive camo. It looks fucking awesome. So mm-hmm. I'm kind of grinding towards it. So they called it Aurora Borealis. Well, it's called Borealis camo, but yes, it, it, in terms of Aurora Borealis, that is what it's in mm-hmm. reference to. And then they have the interstellar camo and multiplayer, which I probably will not get because it takes uh, far too long. And that is something yeah. that you really got to... Epic don't even play games no more. He's playing fucking hunting sniper on his phone. Yeah, uh, yeah on his <laughs> phone and in real life. I mean... Oh, well, yeah. That, that. RJ. What? We all know... Everybody but you does stuff in real life, okay? It's fine. I'm an accessory to life. Of life. What does that even mean? That doesn't mean... No I was kind of wondering that myself. Yeah. I don't know. You're, that is a bad thing. That means you're like the keychain of what life is. So you're just an afterthought. You're just there to fucking make sure you can find what life really is. But if I'm in the keychain, then don't I hold the key that opens the doors? No, you're the thing that makes people find the thing that opens doors. So what is it like? Are you talking? So you're saying I'm a metal detector? No, bro. Do you know what a key? What the purpose of a keychain is? Yeah, so you don't lose your keys. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> all right. Fuck? So, so I'm here. So I have a good purpose. I'm not just an afterthought. I hold the keys together. So I'm, I am the glue. I will tell you this: <laughs> when I'm looking for my keys, I look for my keychain, and I move on with my day because the keys are the key to what I need to do. But if you didn't have the chain, you'd never find the key. So shut Bullshit, because I don't have a keychain on my fucking house keys, and I know where they are at all times. <laughs> well, you, you're going to lose them. No, I won't. <laughs> dude, I can imagine, dude. You probably have, like, some weird, like, like shelving scenario where you put them. Probably, like, a hidden space underneath the staircase. And <laughs> oh, yeah. Lethal Company is pretty fucking popular right now. Uh, is it a Steam exclusive? I didn't know that. Um... Yeah, that's a big. Um, actually, I'm not gonna lie. If you can find other people to to play with, um, that is a big streaming game at the moment. Just saying, hint, hint. Wink, wink. Well, Lethal Company is the game they're talking about. Um, a lot of streamers are playing it. Um, is it a first person, third person? 
third person, but it's like a team type thing, and you're you're basically in a hazmat suit, and you go around doing different things. I haven't really fully watched it, but okay. it's kind of it's pretty popular. Um, it's is it like a shooter? I, I wouldn't. Yeah, there's some shooting in it. I okay. wouldn't say it's as popular as um Fortnite, but I. It can get up there. No, I mean anything new and fresh, even if it is I'll a VR, is is is, is, is good. The fact that RJ is a gamer, hold on, gamer, and he doesn't know any of the games is crazy. I know more games than you, and you play more than me. That's crazy to me. Yeah, you're talking about games like yeah, like I've never heard of either. So you never heard of Lethal Company? No, one never. of the most popular games out right now. That's that's fine. I'm not playing ready it. or not. You haven't heard of that one? Well, I've only because of, only cause of me. Well, yeah, I've heard of that. So, oh, uh, this kind of reminds, this kind of looks like, like a Team Fortress-like game to me. Just with the art style in it and everything. Because yeah. I'm, I, I actually played uh, Team Fortress 2 for a little while in my 360 days. It's obviously more popular on PC because of the mods and what you can do with it. But Team Fortress, I like the art style. I like stuff like this. I haven't obviously seen any gameplay of it yet, but it, I just, by the art style, it looks kind of cool. It looks intriguing. It does. Because uh, you got to be not so realistic all the time. Most of the time, it's really, really cool. But sometimes you need stuff like this. It balances it out. Yeah, this, I mean, this isn't so, like, super realistic. I I, I personally would not play it. Um, we talked about this last week because mm-hmm. I, I just don't do really like, unrealistic stuff. But. Well, let me ask you this. In terms of, uh, since you're a big car guy, um, would you w- did you like, like, Need for Speed and Burnout and stuff like that? Um, need for speed for a time period. Um, burnout never played it maybe once or twice. I don't know. Uh, I did fuck with, um, it was a PS three game. Uh, fuck is the name of that game? I can't remember, but you shoot stuff at people. It's like, but real cars, like you're driving real cars, but you shoot stuff and you throw, what the fuck was the name of that game? Anyway, that one, Gran Turismo, obviously, Fucking hated Forza. Don't know why. I think the first Forza that I played was like maybe Forza two or three, and I was just like, ugh. This, it, I was already on Gran Turismo at that point. Yeah, no, it's hard, and that, and I will say in terms of the racing equivalent, uh, Forza's gotten a lot better. No, um, I get but, it, but I just it, it turned me off from the jump. I was a big fan of Project Gotham Racing in on the original Xbox. That was actually really, really cool. Um, oh, it was a little arcadey. Uh, just, I actually see them. Yeah, it's very arcadey. You just brought up, and I wish I had put, uh, put the video up. Um, there was a guy who was explaining what people play uh, Xbox and what people play PlayStation. Yeah. And I wish I fucking put the video up because it would have been... They can explain it better than I can, but basically it boiled down to the difference between people who play PlayStation and Xbox is people who are uh, Xbox players are usually white uh, slash nerds and or, I should say, uh, and the people who play PlayStation are usually black. Well, I mean, that's uh, I mean, I don't think you need anybody to really break that down for us in any other. <laughs> no, terms but there. no, no, no. The way they broke it down was yeah. much better. Uh, like, I had a PlayStation going on, so which which, which PlayStation? Because one, everybody was like, because Xbox didn't exist. One, and time. I think I had up to like three. Um, okay. So then you be you just became a fanboy from from the jump. Yeah, once I had one, I just kept upgrading after that. Okay. Yeah. I've owned every Sony console except for the first one. I didn't own the first one. Yeah, so I've had a two, a three, a f- and I have a four currently. I don't have a five yet. Um, I, for the thing is, is I don't mind buying a fine. I'm a big fan of Sony, but uh, just, uh, the, just Stop the Stop saying online. it. It's not Sony. You don't say, you don't fucking say, I'm a big fan of Microsoft because you have an Xbox. Yeah, I've, I've never Sony, had an PlayStation. You know what? It's you know, not you know the same. I mean? I it's know, not. You, the you know fuck. what I'm saying, though. Like uh, I know you, what you're you, saying, you, but yeah. no. But what you're doing is you're trying to fucking make. And this is what I think all the fucking X boy Xbox fanboys do. <laughs> that's why I meant to. I know, they're, they're, they're the same thing. No, I know. Uh, they're little stripper. I like bitches. the term. <laughs> they're little stripper bitches. Um, what they try to like to do is like uh, Sony's great, but uh, Xbox better. Like first of all. 
You won't say the same thing about fucking Microsoft. You won't say Xbox great, but Sony's not. Like you'll say Xbox and Sony. But now you're breaking it down into the microbial pieces that they are as a fucking uh, entity. Uh, instead of, and then on this side, you're fucking trying to make them seem like the whole entity is the entire fucking thing. When it's not true, because Sony does a lot more different shit than fucking Microsoft does. Sony's into movies. Microsoft ain't in movies. They're in PCs and fucking, yeah, that, that's Windows their market. Yeah. yeah, that's their market. I get that. Uh, that. That's great. That's great. I understand that. What I'm saying is, is that. PlayStation, since it's that serious, PlayStation <laughs> is 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 great. It, it is, is that serious. No, it's not. No, no, it, it is. It, 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 I understand what you're saying, but that's not really what I was coming at. I'm just saying I have always enjoyed my PlayStations whenever I've would, had them. But what, what I'm saying is, you would say play, or you would say Sony, but not say Microsoft. Yeah, but when I refer to Sony, I when I th- say the word Sony, I p- personally mean PlayStation. I know Sony makes televisions. I know they're in movies. I know they do this. But when I say Sony, it's like, hey, oh, yeah, you're Sony PlayStation. Or if we're having a discussion about video game consoles, you should know. We have. To- I know what you're saying. However, it's not you're you're because, again, Microsoft does so much more. You're it, y'all are get it's it's a it's an easy escape for you to fucking group the entire company of Sony if if PlayStation does one thing wrong, then you say, hey, Sony did this. No, Sony didn't do that. The fucking division of the company did that. But you would do the, when it comes down to Xbox, you'd be like, oh, Xbox did this and Xbox did this. And fucking Microsoft never comes into the fucking question. Okay, that's fine. Your point is very valid. <laughs> it's There's nothing wrong with it. PlayStation is a great console. I just prefer my Xbox because the online service is 10 times better. And that's it. That's questionable. No, it, it it is, and and that's my that is my opinion. That is my opinion. Right, again, and I would think that that's why. Hot take. That's the reason that fucking gaming is fucked right now, is because of the fucking online experience and the fucking multiplayer experience. They don't develop games no more. They only fucking put games out there for you fucking. Uh, online fucking multiplayer motherfuckers. Dude, I love single player games. That's why I own a PlayStation. Uh, I would beg to differ you did, by you even saying that. Dude, you have absolutely no idea who I am in the games that I grew up playing. So I I'm, not talking, refer- I'm not talking. I'm not talking about what, what you grew up playing. What we're talking about right now. We're talking about right now. That's fine. Just I have like, Alan Wake too. I've how, got Baldur's Gate. I've got all this great stuff. Just because I'm playing Call. But of what Duty, are you streaming? I'm because I enjoy playing Call of Duty. Yes, that's right. And the reason Call of Duty. Got ruined is because of multiplayer. I will 100 percent still stand on this fucking path. It got ruined because of fucking your fucking uh, beloved Microsoft. Nah, not really. And then buying all the fucking gaming companies. Fuck Microsoft. Well, I didn't tell them to do that. Not nor did I ask them. Yeah, to. but they're 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 already in trouble for a monopoly right now. So fuck Microsoft. G- given right. the business that I was in fixing computers. Fuck Microsoft. No. Oh, I'm not going to. I'm not even going to get into it. It's we got so another bad. computer person in the building, ladies and it, gentlemen. It's so bad. And I can't guess even what? tell you. And guess what? I'm a fucking PC guy. I play games on PC. I've been playing games on PC for a long time. I love PlayStation. Uh, if somebody has an Xbox, I will play with the Xbox. However, I think they ruined gaming. Multiplayer ruined gaming, period. I'm saying that right now. And I'm not even saying Xbox. I'm just saying Microsoft as a company, they're a vein of my existence uh, because especially like older people, when they when they upgrade to Windows 10 or Windows 11, it's like, it's horrible. Oh, yeah. It's oh, so oh, yeah. horrible. I, I so many glitching, a game. so yeah. many. It's so bad. And, I download and they a game. make you upgrade. It, they make you upgrade and then... And then their customer support is well. You can't call anyone from Microsoft. Yeah. Like, oh, that's everybody that's, nowadays. But but it's even worse with them. Like we have people that are tech savvy is fine, but especially like older people when they oh, no. upgrade to Windows ten, upgrade to Windows eleven, and all that stuff. None of their old shit works. Trust it's me, such dealing, a nightmare. Dealing man. with that with my mom right now. But they're. I mean, but I mean, it's like a monopoly basically because if you own a PC, unless you go to Apple, if you own a PC, you have to fuck with Microsoft. 
And then, and I'll give you this. And I, I, I'm not talking shit on you, but I'm just trying to make you understand what I'm trying to say. I know what you're saying. The other thing is all the Xbox people, only thing that the real fucking games that they can ever come up with is fucking Halo and Gears of War. Those games, maybe the first one or two were great. After that, you're milking the fucking system. Everything is milked. I agree. But the exclusives aren't always milked. God of War wasn't milked. They re the last one, they did a whole that that was a different game than yeah, all the no, other ones. And I know, and I enjoyed it and I loved it and I praised it. I know you yeah. did. And I'm not saying that you didn't. All I'm saying is I don't know. There's not been one franchise on fucking Xbox that like made me want to fucking pull my dick out and nut all over the place. <laughs> I, I, I understand that. <laughs> That's I all I'm saying. Yeah, I, I got to fucking make a joke yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I don't, I don't give a shit. Uh, what I was going to say is is no. But when uh, Xbox initially launched, <laughs> I was there when it happened, and I, I rode the wave, and I've been a fan, and I've owned uh, pretty much damn near every console in the last probably Again, close that's to only years. fans, by the way. All right. <laughs> only fans. We should get a fan on here. Um, what I was going to say Somebody clip some of this shit so we can put this on TikTok this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've, I, I, what I'm saying is, is the whole argument of like, which console is better is, is uh, dumb to me. I'm a fan of video games. What console I play mostly depends on what I'm, and they're both pretty similar. Yeah. So if you're a fan of video games. Now he's being too practical. I was just, I was, I was just being polarizing just for the sake of being polarizing. Well, you know what, Jared? Polarize away. Yeah, but you ruined it. Well, you, ruined you know it what? It. I'm going to be the guy in the middle. The politician. Yeah. You... No, 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 no. I'm a fan <laughs> of gaming, dude. And, I'm, and I still think Xbox's ser- online services are better. That's it. Does Sony have better single-player exclusives? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. And I prefer single-player. Yeah, and that's fine. So it's all down to preference. But if you are a fan of games, you'll try to consume it in as many ways you can. I'm sorry, but fucking, I don't know. I think Microsoft and Xbox ruined multiplayer. They could have done a lot better. They could have. They don't innovate anymore. Some of the some of the gaming companies still innovate. Like again, we talked about um, you're playing Baldur's Gate three right now. That was innovation, obviously. Um, I, there's I think there's been mixed reviews on Alan Wake because uh, I, I didn't play the second one. I I did kind of play the first one a little bit. Um. But I didn't play the second one. Is it the same as the first one? Because that's not innovation if it's the same as the first one. Well, they've added a li- bunch of layers to it. It's like the same like concept in theory, but it's... Well, I mean, it's as long as the ex- overall plot is the same. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's 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 actually pretty fucking awesome. Um, and I'll probably be playing a lot of that tomorrow, if I had to be honest with you. Um, no, but I've, I've liked it so far. I think it's great. I'm intrigued, storytelling-wise. Some games, you know, gameplay can be very simple and you can be hooked because of the story. Like, I'm a big fan of Metal Gear Solid because of the story, not because of the, how the game plays. You That's roll, about to come out you, soon, too. Yeah, you, you, you crawl around in a cardboard box and you knock on, you know, things to hunt or, you know, you run away from people, you hide. That's a little different. Uh, now, now that you bring that up, um, I'm thinking about espionage. Uh, I'd be down to do some shit like that. I want to uh, talk about something that I've been watching. Um, so we're, we're going to bring it into the uh, entertainment beaker. Because it's good. Hold up. Porky pig. We're going to bring it. <laughs> we're going to bring it into the entertainment beaker. The entertainment beaker. Be- okay. But, start again. We're going to bring it in to the entertainment beaker. Because it's a container. Of entertainment. There we Jesus go. There, there we go. God. There we go. Yeah. See, dude. Um, <laughs> Where's my the, fucking dude, button? Uh, yeah. Dude, there. <laughs> oh, what the? They, fuck? Dude, there. I'm telling you. Oh, come on. We got it. We got it off at, at some point. It's um, it's just what it is. So what 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 is the espionage that you are watching? Oh, uh, so there's a show on Apple TV, and I don't think that everybody has Apple TV. And I'm going to be, I'm, I'm kind of upset that I didn't really discover, Apple TV has a lot of fucking fire ass shit. We talked about, um, what was it, Silo? 
Yes, Silo. Yeah. Dude, that I'm actually are they make they're making another season, right? I hope so. Yeah, no, that show was really Not good. Not to man. mention my crush right now is Rebecca Ferguson and yeah, so I hope they have yeah, another one. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Um so there, there was a couple other shows that I watched recently that was all Apple TV, but there's one that I, I, I got from um, another podcast that I watch, Your Mom's House with Tom Segura and Christina P. Uh, and they were talking about Slow, oh no, not Slow, Slow Horses. It's uh, basically um, a group of, well, it's about MI5, which is uh, like, and James Bond would be like MI6 or whatever. It's like the CIA of Britain. Um, they, they're an intelligence agency. And it's a thriller, mystery type thing. And it, it it's about these people who got, who fucked up at the highest level of MI5 and got bumped down to this lower level. And like they're looked down on because they're fucking up. But they end up being like, some of the best, like, actual, like, espionage and spy agents. Bro, it's so good. I'm almost at the end of season two. There's three seasons, six seasons of episode. They're easy watch. I recommend it. It's called Slow Horses. Slow Horses. Check it out. It's a British <laughs> show. So, um, yeah. All right. I like that. I like that. Dan, you watching anything cool? I am, actually. Uh, I'm watching... In- into sports, but uh, I watched the second season of Coach Prime, which is... Oh, yeah, you, you keep telling me about that. I just haven't gotten into yeah, it. Yeah, it's no. good, man. It, Especially the second season is really getting into... That's on Amazon, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, I was about to tell ask, people. Yeah, yeah. Coach Prime on Amazon, so everybody knows. Yeah, Coach Prime on Amazon, second season. The first season, he was in Jackson State, and uh, then he just got took a job in Colorado. What's cool is, what's super cool about it is you're watching Colorado on TV... And then you watch, you know, first 10 games or whatever. And then at the beginning of December, they start airing the show. So it's, like, very, like, real. Because yeah. you just... You're watching it in, like, real time, essentially. Almost. Yeah. You know, seven, eight weeks after. But almost real time. Like, you just saw how Colorado did, so you know how it's going to go. But then you get to see the leading up to all of it. Yeah. And the biggest thing is um, how messed up... So he he had, like, bad turf toe or something, and... Whatever, but th- no, he had. I think it was diabetes. Or something. Well, no, but he had really bad turf toe, and then I think diabetes yeah. too. Yeah. And then, um, but either way, he, he was like, "Chop these toes off! I don't need these motherfuckers." Yeah, he lost some toes, yeah. but but um, in the, this episode, the first the first episode really dives into him, and but it shows his leg and stuff, and it's like half his leg looks like a skeleton leg, like it's the the skin. You can see the bone all the way down. Damn, dude, that's crazy. Bro. Yeah. So um so it's not it's a little bit of football so even if you're not a huge if you're not a huge football fan but it's it's football but it's just about behind the scenes and him and his life and his kids and all that stuff so it's it's, a, it's a good watch man it's he's really a very good. motivating person I, I've gotten a lot of uh, not I won't say advice but I've gotten a lot of inspiration from there yeah, 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 throughout yeah, yeah. the years because I, I this is partly why. Again, I don't really have a fucking full team right now. I never really had a team for anything, to be honest. I, there was years, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to support this team because this is a fucking home team. But I always had favorite players. Um, and Deion Sanders, even when he was on the Falcons, he was doing the, the dirty bird or whatever. Yeah. Um, not not that bullshit that the fucking Falcons are doing now. I mean, not the Falcons. The Eagles are doing now. The, the real shit. That the Falcons yeah, back I remember in the day that, were doing. Uh, whatever, Anderson, the running back, started it with the whole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it was Jamal then, Anderson. It was then. And, and, like, people were like, why'd you buy a hat when you went to the Fal- – I went to a Falcons game a couple of years ago. They were playing Tom Brady, first of all. And I'm in Atlanta. I'm at the brand new stadium, the Mercedes oh, yeah. Stadium. I'm gonna buy a fucking hat from the fucking place. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's good. Uh, it's a novelty. It's, uh, yeah. it, it's good stuff. Plus, I was a fan back then because of Dion. Um, I was a fan of Julius Jones when he went there, uh, Matty Ice, all those guys. Right. And then I, I went to the game. And I was like, Yo, you know what? Fuck it, fine. I'm going to buy the hat. So I bought that. Anyway, all that to say, um, when he went to San Francisco, I was a fan. 
Because I was a fan of Joe Montana. I was a fan of Jerry Rice. And then he went to Dallas. And you're and he a fan. Went to, I, when he went to Dallas, I had to fucking back off. Him. Yeah. <laughs> I, that I, must have hurt, too. It like, did. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's it felt good wrong. for me. And, yeah. and, and here's the thing. I was and not going to lie, bro. And he played for the Braves. I'm going to tell is, you right now. And and as much, much and anybody out here who fucking knows me or has been on the show and knows, knows how much shit I talk about the Cowboys, I was a fan of Troy Aikman, still am a fan of Troy Aikman. I was a fan of Emmitt Smith, still am a fan of Emmitt Smith. Yeah. Uh, Michael Irvin, still am a fan. Of, I'm a fan of all those guys just because they were great and they were around during the time that I gave a fuck about football. And I, I just, I, I love greatness and I love to watch people that are great play, especially when it comes to sports. Um, same thing, we were talking about the Cat Williams thing. Great comedian. Goes, I, I, I'm going to use the goat thing. That's not a goat. The goat thing is, again, uh, actually, Ari Spears said that this week. Goat thing, goat don't mean shit. No, Either, everybody has their own definition of exactly. what a goat yeah, yeah, is. There, exactly. No and, and we went weeks ago of the whole Jordan, all this stuff. But Either you're a goat. Or you're not. Either right. either you're a great player or you're not a great player. Right. So there can be multiple goats. So it doesn't have to be the goat. I don't want to use that term anymore. I'm done. 2024, we're done using this person's a goat. This person's a goat. That's just stupid. That's fucking uh, millennial slash fucking I agree. Zoomer fucking I talk. I agree. Yeah. Totally agree. They're either great or they're not just great. Just say great player. They're a great player. That's it. You know, They don't have to be a goat. Like, what the fuck? They could be generational There's no players. such thing. The only reason... You know, and you know what? And, and because he coined it, he gets it. Muhammad Ali, he coined that shit. That's where we get the greatest of all time. That's where all we right. get goat from. Well, yeah, but He's someone abbreviated only. and thought they'd be fancy. And yeah, they thought they were funny. Yeah. It, it worked for a while. It is what it but is. But now it's a stinky animal. Yeah, that just we're done with it. Yeah, Muhammad Ali's the goat. Everybody else, they're great at their craft. I agree with that. That's all I'll I want to do. Generational. We all agree. We're, 2024, the Mad Scientist Lab is solving fucking generational and cultural <laughs> bullshit. That's yeah, right. we're solving it right here. Every Saturday live around 6.30 p.m. Nice. here on Twitch. Unless and the Steelers are playing, us, then it's like yeah, yeah, so quarter it, day it, or it's, whatever it's the important. fuck. It's important. You can also catch your audio anywhere you get your podcast. That, <laughs> that is Apple good. Music and Spotify. Every Monday, 9 a.m. sharp for the visual on YouTube. Make sure you check us out. If you're laying back and, you know, you're stuck at home, working from home, hey, fuck your boss. Watch us. That's very important. And Or, or wait, don't fuck your boss. Just watch us while you're fucking your boss. It, so, until <laughs> next week, folks. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to episode 215 of the Mad Scientist Lab podcast. As always, it is I, RJ, the pizza guy, along with Jared, the visual mad scientist. Dan, thank you for coming over and hanging out today, man. Uh, I we enjoyed really it. Appreciate thank you it, so much. Of course. And we will see you guys next week. So, like, share, comment, subscribe, and be safe. Peace. And fuck you. So plan. Peace out, y'all. We love you. I'm about to hit the wrong button. Be you. you so hard, you button. won't see nothing. Oh, that's not the one. We're still here, guys. <laughs>